coming up on awesome cast we get the gear vr in our faces what do we think about it we talk about some apps business cards with nfc and what happened at today's microsoft event so much more awesome cast find yourself in the beachview area of pittsburgh check out the official pizza of this show slice on broadway sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter from the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we got a very special one with you on the couch. If you Please, you have to be on video for this one. If you have not had a chance, at least for the first part of this. Because look what's happening. John Chichilla is on the couch. How's it going? And he brought a toy that is on Katie's face. That does not... Jeez, I brought I a toy that on, that's on Katie's face that puts her in a virtual <laughs> setting. <laughs> She's playing Temple Run VR right now on an Oculus Gear uh, with a <laughs> Samsung phone. <laughs> hi, Katie. Well, she's busy. She's at Katie Dutters on the Twitter. Uh, a new new star of Brazilian TV. Maybe yes. we'll mention that a little bit later. This is the Awesome Cast. We talk about tech things, and sometimes we do a little bit of show and tell, and this is fantastic. And we're completely starting thinking. late, so we'll see where this goes. Check us out, awesomecast.net. Subscribe, uh, share, all kinds of things. Um, uh, tell your friends. We, we a great video game thing uh, coming up th- later this week with Awesome Chat. Uh, talking about our friends from Looking for Group Pittsburgh up in Brookline. It's a great uh, video game and co-working space. Go check that out. We'll maybe get a little bit more later on that. But we have to get around to this. Oh, hey, and please, patreon.com slash awesomecast. Uh, actually, just redid some of the levels there. Um, so if you're interested in uh, ways you can help out the show, uh, we actually uh, started one. And, and by default, I think we already uh, have an executive producer on the show give five dollars per episode and if you do that for a different game if he's she's still she's still this game is not fun (laughs) and if you still if you do that for four weeks we're going to give you business cards with executive producer on them thank you so much for our patron thistle c business development that's been supporting us here for a little bit here on the uh mayhem show go check them out check out their website thistle c on the twitters and find out how they could help you uh so okay we have to get right to this we have an awesome thing and this may just eat up the entire show at this point because <laughs> because we've we've tried it there's reactions katie's got it on her face right now i just had to run with this thing and and i almost fell out of my chair uh chilla what is on katie's face so the galaxy or it's the galaxy gear vr mm-hmm. which is made by samsung in partnership with oculus this is the developer device which is a it's and i don't necessarily think it's developer from the standpoint of you get something special i think it's more like the um just pointing at things i'm sorry audio it's it's more like the google glass was as far as more of reference hardware or like an explorer edition or something along those lines mm-hmm. um, from the fact that there's going to be a consumer version that comes out. Um, I think this is to get developers thinking on how they can build their apps and how things work. Um, this device only works with the Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, it does not work with the S6 Edge, which you had to get a different unit for. It does not work with the new um, S6 Edge plus or the s or the note 5 um so it's it's very the the form the mold the plastic that's used on the front of it's very limited to what phone it can can plug into um the device actually you slide the phone in on an angle into its usb port (laughs) don't hurt yourself (laughs) it's behind me You, you <laughs> slide the phone in on like a 45 degree angle and then click it into place and it automatically launches <laughs> the the Oculus app. Um, the, then the first time you do launch the put the device in there, it actually the first thing it tells you to do is now please eject the device because it has to download the Oculus store. And then it then once you have the Oculus store, you can start. So, to get so it basically and verifies and like you have the device and then says, oh, yeah, here's all the stuff now. Yeah. OK. Um. So in with with the recent announcement around 
Gear VR. Um, there wasn't. I wouldn't. I won't say there was a. There's a ton of stuff in the store up until. I mean, the, the store probably quadrupled in size in the last two weeks. Um, recently adding Netflix. There's a. There's a neat kind of. You can go into movie theater mode where you can load any video onto it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't come up in an actual v, VR type environment where it's where it's all the way around you like, like, like what katie's experiencing right now um that's the biggest pain that i've seen is you 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 look behind you like to, to pilot the ship i have to look in every direction right. so i need to turn i guess i need to stand up you either need to stand up or i think you had a good idea of using a bar stool um is probably a good way to to achieve that kind of concept. Not letting me do much. It's making me watch stupid Avenger videos <laughs> <laughs> on a Samsung TV. Oh, look at the ceiling. Wow. And that's one of the things. So so you can actually put it in like a movie theater mode and it actually makes it look like you're sitting in a movie theater and the mm-hmm. video you have actually plays on a movie theater screen on the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. Um but that is one of the biggest things I will say I is pew, you, you pew. <laughs> You need you need a pretty decent no, amount of space. Hit the back button. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found that when I was was kind of using the device at first, I was constantly knocking my head on a door. What? <laughs> um, because I have door like my computer unit now sits inside of a cabinet. Okay. Um, and the doors open. So I was actually to like how kind of how you, you need moved a your head. You need a clearance. Yeah, you need you need a good six foot circle around you. I always said you need like a room that I'm you're gonna be in able a to. Room. I don't need a room. <laughs> <laughs> There's my table. I have a pool. Maybe there's a Samsung TV. There's some stars out. There's the my infinity pool. There's a menu. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, Kate, Kate, Katie, what do you think about the experience? Is first of all, is this your first time using VR? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna all look like a bunch of weirdos in the future. <laughs> what What do you think? Like, what What are your impressions? I think it's it's cool because you definitely are in the environment. But oh my gosh, I can't imagine how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. Like my neck. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like your neck, and I feel like if if like those headphones do um, anti noise cancellation yeah so like if we pump that in she would probably barely be able to hear us right um so i feel like you can kind of immerse yourself in the situation like, like, i felt like i felt like when i was on it you were trying to talk to me and i felt like i i definitely felt like i was in there so the headphones are important right uh, to, to pair with that thing like using earbuds are probably not going to be as effective in this thing right but i'm just like i just felt like i was in a cone which like partially freaks me out because i'm just like okay i know stuff is happening out here right so well, and well, it's weird because like when I started, the menu was you have no here. clue what's going on around you. And now, like the screen is here. Oh, so it's like going off center. And that that is one thing that I did notice in in some of the demo stuff. It does get kind of three D spatially confused. Oh, cool! I think I'm in an art installation. And that is so. That's one of the other things that was really cool. Is there's a there's actually one app that you can actually put yourself in different locations. I'm at mm-hmm. the Governor's Ball Festival. So you can put yourself on the the top of the Empire State Building and one of those glass overlooks where you really? can look down. I don't want to watch this guy spray paint thing. <laughs> Boo. What? Dude, you're boring. No. So are you in the movie section? Yes. So there's some kind of one that's just still photos and it's it's 360 degree photos where you can okay. kind of submerse yourself in in a photo, which I thought would be really cool if you could do that like in the studio here and you could have a 360 degree. Oh, that's when you were talking about like the 3d podcasting kind of idea. Yeah. And there are games, but the games are like, again, a little weird. One thing they're trying to, they're trying to definitely play on the, it has to be a 360 degree view. Right. They, they want you in a very three dimensional. This is what you need is a idea. game controller. And that's the one thing that wasn't out when yeah. I got this this unit but it's it's pretty easy to figure out what you're doing though there's only really two buttons yeah. there's the back button and the select button I don't think I even found the back button <laughs> so I mean resolution wise uh, it's obviously you're, this is not going to be as good as what the Oculus VR is going to be because your, your phone while your phone is high resolution it's still splitting that and creating one picture right no it's actually creating two if you ever look at 
but I'm saying like the like VR videos. Well, what 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 resolution is is that the, screen? Like a 10, 1080 maybe. I think it's closer. I think it's a, it's around 1080 because it's 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 on par with like an Apple device. So it's, right, you're, right. you're actually probably a little bit above. But 1080. it's still taking that down. Like you're still taking the portion and the portion and combining that. And I think that's still like whatever those resolutions. I, I've are. heard. I've heard it's around. If it, it's the equivalent of 400, 480. Right. Right. So, so I mean, it's not HD. It's a little you're bit below seven twenty. You're gonna see it. It, you it know. can get pixely. If you're sitting on retinas all day, you're gonna notice this. Yeah. Thing. Ah. Um, but uh, some of the photos and stuff like that. Ooh, look I'm going look on a really helicopter good. ride in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I think it's really cool for people that may not be able to get to go somewhere. I mean, I'm never going to get to go to Dubai, mm -hmm. but I can throw this thing on and, and take a helicopter ride, which I think is a pretty neat concept. That was a story that came up around oh. Google Google Class was was there was a there was a, oh. you know, a, a grandmother that was like pretty late in her years. And and they had a I think that she recorded going to a place or got something and 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 hooked it up and no it was an Oculus actually it was like an early Oculus uh dev kit and they set it up and, and had like kind of a 3D walk through Paris and she's like I got to go to Paris you know because mm -hmm. you know she wouldn't have in her old age hadn't had the opportunity and uh no no I think it's absolutely like that kind of thing could you imagine just this and just walking down in street view mm -hmm. I think would be tremendous I mean, look how well our Insta video does. Our periscopes and things of our city, particularly when I was on vacation, and mm -hmm. how people just wanted to experience different parts of the world. <laughs> now you can, now you can, now you can experience it in a in a three hundred and sixty degree, mm -hmm. and, and all over the place. Well, even to, literally, I'm looking down there. Hello. To the low end. <laughs> yeah, the, do you, are you having the like, where's my crotch syndrome? <laughs> No, my crotch is a water. Well, that, house is my crotch. That's one of the interesting things that I thought they did pretty well in the in the Avengers demo mm -hmm. was when you you're it starts you off looking at your reflection in the in a glass. Right, right. So you see the Iron Man armor and it's moving to and you it, and everything. And if you would have looked down, you would, see, you would see you were your hands as armor. Now, obviously, it doesn't know exactly where your hands are right, mapped, right? But it gives you the concept. I felt I actually like wanted to put my hands in the place they were in in the video. Mm -hmm. um, so I it's it it really, I think, immerses you in the technology. Right. This is fun. And for and I look at it as if you're a Galaxy owner, I think the 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 end price of this is going to be ninety nine dollars. Yeah. So to pick up for ninety nine dollars, I mean, there's people that buy controllers that are $99 $99 and you have virtual reality right. you know and again like it's not it doesn't make sense for me to say okay I'm going to go get this thing because I got to get the phone plan whatever you right. know it, it yeah it absolutely does not make where, sense where I think they would be wise and, and Samsung if you're listening hmm? please please hear my words they need an iPod touch type device right if they could sell that device with this no plan Wi-Fi only Decent device. I think they. I think they would have something significantly cheaper because it's not going to have all that the phone tech that this thing has. Especially when you look at like I think Microsoft in today's news announced the Hololens Developer Edition coming in at three grand mm -hmm. to start. Holy crap! So I'm a Burning Man. So a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> $199 for their developer edition versus $3,000 for the it's it's night and day. Now it's two different technologies, right? Virtual reality versus augmented reality. But in reality, it's a, it's a large price difference. Mm -hmm. Katie, <laughs> Katie. Well, and this is the one like like I said this is the one thing I wish not only could we see her reaction, but I wish we had a way to see what she was seeing. Yeah, be able to to kind of dull because we can just only imagine what she's looking at right <laughs> There's now. There's not a lot of cars right now and some tents and it's not K nighttime yet. I think things will change. <laughs> uh, uh, Katie, you want to join us again? Sure. The, 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 the one thing I will say too, and I'll be interested when she, when she takes the device device off and I can take a look at it. Um, no, sorry, I'm not going to put it on. Sorry, I was trying to That's where you were. <laughs> oh, I just got tonight. Things got exciting. Why are you making me leave Burning Man? That's the worst parents ever. No. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes watered a little. So, okay. so what, what do you what do you think? It's awesome. I think it's really cool, and I I, I like the I, I idea of experiencing different things. So the games were a little, the loading took a while, mm -hmm. and and figuring out there was a lot of intro things. It was just like, okay, can we just start playing now? 
look at this thing. And it's way behind me. And I'm like, sure, okay. And then I kept watching the Avengers trailer. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I don't care anymore. Uh, the Avengers trailer is really fun because, again, like I, I guess you, I, I dropped in kind of midway. And you're like flying through the middle of a fight. Right, right. So like, it starts off your it it starts off your Tony Stark Iron Man in the armor, mm-hmm. and his the Stark Tower gets broken into. I think is the is the kind of the story, and everyone else is it's it's kind of like that. Did you see Age of Ultron? Yes. Not not a big spoiler here because it was in the previews. So, but there's the scene where they're kind of hanging out in his place, and Ultron kind of comes to life. Um. And there's the whole there's no strings on me section. That's kind of where it kind of starts off from. But Tony or is for some weird reason already in armor. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine when we start getting the VR porn? How many people are just going to start running in and doing inappropriate <laughs> things to objects? <laughs> Get off my couch. What are you doing to my couch? And I know what game you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> But so so twenty so we were that was pow- probably powered up for about twenty five minutes right and it burned through twenty five percent of the battery as oh, well. Oh jeez! Mm, wow. So now the interesting thing and and I didn't bring anything with me, but on the bottom and they actually obviously thought about this problem because on the bottom of the device there's oh, a okay. pass through charging port <laughs> that will in, that will instantly charge your device. Because keep in mind that the Oculus is pretty much just really nice optical lenses that it's not powered up in any way, shape or form. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just pretty much saying, Hey, it's telling the phone, Hey, you're plugged in and Hey, there's a head in the headset. Cause oh, as soon so as there's you... not any actual, like really a lot of technology in the headset itself. No. Wow. It's all every, all the guts are running off. The so, so it's really a very spiffy Google glass <laughs> or Google. Much. I'm sorry. Google cardboard. Yes. Wow. Wow. Uh, so the way so, so, uh, 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 my, my brother in the chat room is actually, uh, uh, asking, so you can't cast it to a screen. No, not from what I, anything because, that I've tried to cast with because it kills the Oculus app. Oh, the Ac- Oculus app doesn't like to be streamed. Okay. Mm. Okay, because I know there's like 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 Android will cast like the screen, right? It'll, but it but it kills it off. It, it seems to kill it off. And I've tried it. I I tried it with. I've never tried to cast it with the actual casting app. I tried it with like an a um that side sync app and some mm-hmm. other apps that allow mm-hmm. you to remote control the device as well as cast. So I'm not. I, I will get back to you on that. I will try that. I mean, no, we can have some fun demos. With it. I mean, of course, if it's going to cast a screen, you're going to see like kind of the dual image. That's the other thing too. Is you, so yeah, you're going to see you two. You'll see what's going on, but it won't look too great. So because you'll just see two, like the two screens, two basically yeah, two um, circles. But even that, I mean, even if you're like reco- for recording purposes, you just take one of those, and uh, you just take one of those and and put it next to like video of you looking crazy with up up in the air and everything. And it's good, so awesome. Thank you for bringing that in. Yeah, thank you. That oh, was no that was a great and and, and we some <laughs> I want to try to po- find it and post it. I, I didn't record it locally. We'll grab it off of YouTube on the stream. But uh, I also uh, uh, was trying it for an extended period of time, and and I, apparently it looked pretty good <laughs> on, from what they were telling me online. So, uh, so that's awesome, Katie. What is your awesome thing of the week? It's dumb compared to. <laughs> <laughs> after, I went out in real nature. After virtual life. I went to real life. Mm-hmm. I went up to Marine State Park. It's my place to run away to <laughs> when I need a break from people. And just, I don't know, I just life. <laughs> Sometimes you need to just go away for a little bit. And I went, ran up to Marine. That's my little snack and my, my drink and my pens and my laptop. And I just, it was nice to take a little break and get some fresh air. I actually lay down on the bench on the picnic table for a while and just enjoyed the sunshine. There you go. There yeah, you sometimes go. you just got to unplug after you choose after your virtual world. You go back into the real world. <laughs> Would be interesting if we could go up there for her and get a nice 360 panorama. And then anytime <laughs> she wants to go there, we can just give her the goggles. You should just give it to me and I'll go sit on the bench and I'll be a burning man. <laughs> They'll be like, what's she doing? She's really enjoying the water. <laughs> it's like walking like, into the lake. Really enjoying the water. Um, <laughs> wasn't using that app. <laughs> <laughs> uh Wow. Uh, so, so my thing, I, I, I didn't, I didn't have much. Um, I, I, I'm starting to use Ubuntu. 
again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, loaded an old laptop, uh, Missy's last computer before the one we just got her. So it's a, I mean, it's like a, with a Windows 7 gateway. It's a nice, huge laptop with its own numpad and everything. And I'm like, well, I, I, I got to do something with this. And I can't get Windows on it because of reasons like the key rubbed off the bottom. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? We're going to throw Ubuntu on it and get some use out of it. And I actually, so I'm the crazy guy at the co-working space that comes in and unpacks his iPad, his MacBook, and another computer. Because I need... Nothing wrong with that. I, I don't know. I, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm maybe excessive in it. Uh, so I got tired of like having, you know, being the guy carrying three things with screens. Uh, uh, so I, I cut it down to two. And now uh, I brought it in. I have it plugged in. I made sure I password protected it. And now my Ubuntu is going to be my daily at the office. So... Uh, that leaves my, my Windows 10 around because sometimes I like to grab like something that's not my MacBook because if I'm on my MacBook, I will do bigger work. work. You know, I mean, I'm still doing work because there's plenty of stuff for me to do, you know, with, with the website, social media, etc. cetera. Um, and, and especially if, then if I grab something with Ubuntu, I don't have Photoshop. Yes, there's GIMP, but I don't work in GIMP, mm-hmm. you know, there's, it, and I'm sure there might be a version of Photoshop maybe coming out soon. I thought there was a beta or something. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it kind of limits and focuses me and, and you know, it's, it's, it's a little more lightweight. And uh, it, it's a little different, except, man, mice suck on every laptop that's not a MacBook. Does it, which does it have a trackpad or does uh, it every have... trackpad is just horrendous on every laptop that I get my hands on. And and they're like low to mid range. Like this is probably this one here is actually pr- a pretty high end one for the time. And it's a little better. But man, some of those... I feel like they're so small. A yeah. lot of them are. T- it's like tiny. It's about half the size. It doesn't seem to react. The buttons are like the button. The buttons on my Windows 10, well, Windows 8 one uh, that I upgraded. It is just so loud. Listen to that. It clicks so mm-hmm. loud. <laughs> but anyways, uh, but still uh, nice to, to kind of reuse that. And and I figured our Ohio, Ohio Linux people would be proud of me getting some Linux going on a little bit more. I mean, actually, we run it over here on this laptop. I, I got the chat room in all the time just because it's just a way older chat uh, 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 laptop and, and it runs my page just fine. So that's what I got. Uh, so awesome things of the week. I want to get to the fan awesome things, but in the meantime, I want to touch base and talk about our friend slice on Broadway. That is, should be here any time. I mm. guess I don't know what happened. It's, it's not in the goggles. It's I not in the goggles. We checked the virtual <gasps> realities, Ooh, virtual pizza, virtual reality pizza. Well, eventually we're going to get our slice on Broadway and, uh, um, psh- uh, now I want to double check on that. But uh, our friends, uh, SliceOnBroadway.com, they're here in the South Hill, Hills of Pittsburgh. Um, some great people supporting uh, Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Thank you so much over a year and a half uh, helping us out with that and everything. Uh, so uh, please check them out. Uh, they're pis- the SliceOnBroadway.com, SliceOnBroadway on the Facebook, on the uh, on the uh, Instagrams. You'll get hungry too. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. Uh, let them know you heard about them on the Awesome Cast. And... Uh, and, and 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 enjoy if you're in the area. Uh, Carnegie, PA, as well as here in Beachview along the tracks. What's going on over there? What do you guys? Around. What's that? So so, Twitter. Katie just found the Twitter update with the moments curated news section. Did you okay. cover that? Is that is that anywhere in the rundown? No. Well, well, well I, we're just well, out of control. Well, here, hold on one second. Did it just I'll update? It. Yeah, it's a Twitter update. And um, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll pull up the screen. Share what's going on. Breaking news. <laughs> Just a face. Here, Twitter. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, it's uh, so it's got. Um, I'll pull up on the screen here in a moment. I got tours for a day, BuzzFeed, US News, music, fantasy, celebrity, and celebrity. Apparently, you can check back later. So I'm just going to keep moving the information. I'm willing to bet this MLB thing is. Oh, for fun. I have fun. So if you go to the tip of the week, mm-hmm. I just live, I, I updated it with the mm-hmm. Newsweek article on this. Corgi cuteness. So, from what I read earlier, and I just found the first news article I could find, Moments is kind of a curated... It's a curated news section? Mm-hmm. And they're trying to lure, lure newcomers with the new feature. <laughs> so I'm getting the MLB... I love this like, kind of inline video they're doing here 
Uh, so MLB wildcard Astros versus Yankees, and there's kind of like a clip package running behind it, and I can follow this story. Uh, tourists for a day explore the Galapagos Islands. Mm-hmm. That's not in VR. BuzzFeed doing stuff. All star breakfast at McDonald's starts today, or all day breakfast. I'm sorry, uh, at McDonald's starts today. Uh, so yeah, it, a lot of categories, but it's like celebrity, fantasy, music, U.S. news, BuzzFeed. I'm not interested in all this. Yeah, really. I don't think. When, it's and, so, so I don't think it. I don't think you're the target. Oh wait, wait, wait. So that's the today. So that's the general thing. So we we do have news, sports, entertainment. Uh, pulling up there, some Will Smith doing some stuff. Will Smith's gonna tour. Wow. I didn't know he did he's that. gonna tour right after he films. It's a fun. Oh, he's he's gonna film something cool, and then Suicide Squad. I think he's still. I think no, they're, that's they're done with that. that. I think like something part two or part three. I can't remember what. Men, um, Men in Black. Men in Black. They're doing like a fourth one. I think it is. I think. Oh they are. man, uh, but it's interesting. I guess. So if you were if you weren't running Twitter before or you are you were running Twitter before and didn't see moments, it, make sure you close the app and reopen. Okay. Because I didn't notice I had to do that for me to see it. Okay. Yeah, because mine didn't work. It kind of froze up everything and then Yeah. <laughs> but, um But I get that. I get I get the idea that it's a nice place to start for people. It's yeah, and that's exactly what it is. It's for people that's for people not like us <laughs> that that have never been on Twitter and they're trying to figure out their way around. Right. Most people can somehow connect with one of these and then kind of jump in from there. Oh, this is where I check out this stuff that happens, yes. right? So, yeah, I think that's completely completely accurate. Um, and, and they, they kind of need to do this. I mean, you know, we've had classes before they've even done, you know, the stuff they have recently. We've had classes where we're like trying to get people to understand the concept of why and how you tweeter, right? Mm-hmm. Like what, you know, the metaphor for it is, is, you know, that, that thing, um, you know, that, that's, it's, it's, it, it, it's hard, but once you get into it, of course, people are addicted, addicted to it. They're, they're, they're on top of it. Um, and, and, you know, the communities that grow that, you know, that do. So, uh, I, I don't think this is needed for, I, I don't know. I, I, I not, not needed. That's not the way I want to say that. Um, but you're right. I don't think it's going to. Well, and I think I think that's that, gonna, that's not going to affect us, right? And I th- I think what they're doing too is for you and I that have we we follow a large amount of people. We can obviously we have a large enough group that if something gets tweeted that's important that it's not part of someone we follow, someone we follow is going to follow that person and then retweet it, and we're going to see it anyway. Mm-hmm. So what they're finding is a lot of people get their news via Twitter. Mm-hmm. So what this does is kind of gets people that don't have that are either new don't have a reason necessarily right now to come to twitter or don't have don't follow a large population of people it kind of gets them in the know Mm -hmm. so tip of the week relaunch twitter and check out (laughs) check out moments thank you auto updates for preparing me for that thing (laughs) in the meantime the next thing i'm actually trying to um no, not gift tosser. That's not right. That's something completely different. Whoa. Um, getting awkward here on the show. Uh, but we have an app of the week. Katie? It's gift toaster. I have pictures. I have a video. I want to turn it into a gift. That's what gift toaster does. Uh, gift toaster also allows you to use um, various filters. And you can change the playback speed, the frames per second, the size of the... Um, image and also the fun thing is you can yo-yo it um i actually have yo-yo it yeah i don't think did i do one of these yet and so i was i don't think this is the one i yo-yoed but i I have one of our actresses uh scaring a customer and oh shoot maybe i didn't save it and she scares them and then the people pop back up and she scares them again and then they pop back up (laughs) oh so it like repeats yeah oh so it throws a loop Cool. Uh, you know, we saw it. Well, so we, there's gift cam we've talked about, but that's like you record something right here, right now, and it becomes a gift, mm-hmm. right? Um, so you're finding like I've recorded this video, I have this video, maybe I got it from somewhere else, mm-hmm. and, and that's that's where you're using this. Yes, and then uh, like you can put any kind of filter. Well, there's a few filters, but then you have to pay a little more for other filters. And um, so it said smooth tune, and I thought it said sawtooth. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, you can actually. And you just pick the video, encode it, and it takes, it doesn't take very long at all. Sometimes an ad will pop up, but. Mm-hmm. You know what this will be really nice for? Is to get 
your live photo. It'll be interesting. Can you take a live photo and turn it into a and GIF. turn it into a GIF? I don't know. Well, first of all, it is. Uh, so I got it loaded up here, and let's show you. Oh, that's not right there. It's over here, I think. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I got it mad. I'm moving the wrong mouse. There it is. So it, it, it seems to only be. Okay, so it's got a video mode. It's got mm -hmm. photos to GIF, and I'm not seeing any of my live photos here. Let's see, I had a lot of them last Monday because I had actually turned it off, and I don't think it knows what to do with that. Burst. You can turn a burst into a GIF. Yeah. Oh, it takes it in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the yo-yo is cool. It's not a loop. It plays it forward and then plays it backwards. <laughs> There it is. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, there's that scare. And then she, she then jumps goes. back up backwards. Awesome. So it actually takes a little bit because you actually have to stick it in there and it says start encoding and it yeah. takes a little bit to load. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to be dependent on how fast your phone and how new it is. Uh, it's taken me, uh, this is a uh, 18 megabyte file, eight second clip, and it's taken me a, a little bit here actually to get into. So, and then it pops up, maybe, keep turning my phone sideways. And I got an ad at the bottom for HBO now, and now it's a gift. There's actually a, a, a quick video I took uh, uh, crossing the bridge on the train uh, heading from downtown. Some of you guys may be familiar with that. And did I have to yo-yo it before I, I, yeah. I did my thing? But if you go back, if, if you go back, at the top there, it'll let you change your options. And you can actually, if you go to the bottom, you can put a banner on it. A text banner. Okay, and actually put something over it. And then now what I got to go encode it again. See, it's not, and it's probably doing more because that's actually doubling it since I yo yo did it, didn't it? So, oh, I got an ad for Game of War. Everybody, how is, how is there anybody that hasn't heard of Game of War at this point? Because holy crap. Um... So that's loading, and then I'll have a nice uh, yo-yoed GIF uh, going back and forth across the river uh, down down. down well, it'd be interesting bridge. too, because if you can get some decent loops, you could actually probably probably make it look the yo-yo look like a loop, even mm -hmm. though it's really not. True, because it's just going to go back and forth. Right, it's going to go whoop 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 whoop. They, yeah, they, that's that's my audio effect. So <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about out there. <laughs> Sure. Uh, this is actually almost rendered, so maybe we'll. Take a uh, and look at and that. hopefully, in a future version, I hope they do make it where it can take the live photo and turn it into a GIF. Because like the the photo I took of you with with the VR VR on mm -hmm. is actually a live photo, so you're actually like looking around. Okay, so you let's 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 take a side note here. Uh, so you actually you 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 you've spent a week with live photos. I love it. And and again, you got a kid, so I imagine that's even more amazing for you. Yeah, and it's it's it makes me wonder like should I have gotten the bigger phone? Like I need am I what's my workflow going to be? And I, we talked briefly last week about, you know, I don't want to remove photos. I don't want to do this. I already had to remove photos, so it wasn't something it's something I know I have to do. But so live photos it takes the second and a half before and the second and a half after you took the still frame. Um because I had heard a lot of people you know, dropping the camera, dropping their hand mm -hmm. um, when they were taking the live photo. Um, I'm very careful to when I take a picture to make sure I hold the camera in place after I hit the photo button until the live logo goes away. Um, but I will tell you that I do turn it off when I just want to take still shots and I don't want live photos. But when I'm done taking still shots, I turn it back on because nine times out, I would say 90% of the time I want a live photo now mm -hmm. versus just a regular still. Um, and it's nice because when you're scrolling through your photos, you can kind of quickly see which ones are live photos because That's... they kind of animate. They, they, it takes a couple of the frames and animates them. Wait, actually in the, like, wait, uh, like in this part here? No. So tap on one of them. Um, I gotta go find them because I turned it off about a week ago. Uh, let's say they have a logo by them, don't they? Um, not, no, not on your, no. Only if you send it as a, as a, as a, 
text message. Like in this. I know these ones are because these ones we took of Katie. The so, so if you tap it now, right? So like now this. scroll to the next one, right? And it, it'll like take a couple frames. It takes a couple frames. It, it's really slight, and I don't know if you guys can even see it on the stream. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> probably on the big screen. If <laughs> we're being taunted with the pizza that just arrived. Yay, pizza! <laughs> so, um, Jerk. but no, yeah, I, that's the first part where I noticed it, and of course. As you, if you do your your press on it, it's actually going to move a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and like for pictures, I have like, I, I'm going to bring this over real quick to show you. Mm -hmm. Like the pictures I have, because obviously I'm taking pictures of a small child. <laughs> he's, off, he's off mic. He's he's coming. He's coming. So so you're showing me. Actually, here, let me let me plug this in so we can show if, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to borrow this. Why does your phone seem so much lighter? It must be my case. Um. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you got trust there, and it'll pop up here in a moment, probably. Bear with us. Technical live demo kind of stuff going on, and there's just the show is just out of control. We're all over the place. Oh, I don't think it likes when you do that in the middle of it. Um, oh no, Chill's phone just popped up. Chill's phone just popped up. So we'll just cut this part out and post. Yeah, I probably won't remember to do that. I won't remember to do that. So now when you scroll... Oh, so when we scroll over here, there's a strange picture. So as you go, you see him... Oh, okay, so you're actually seeing a little bit of him playing with the bricks and everything as you go. That looks awesome. Yeah, so... I mean, because he's moving around a lot. Mm-hmm. It's something that... And then, if to your point, if I hold down, I get a lot of movement out of my... And it actually gets audio. Yeah, I get a, I get a lot of movement out of of the photo mm -hmm. um to your point if it's something a little less if it's if it's if you're taking a picture of people if you're taking a picture of people that are actually sitting there for like a portrait type thing mm -hmm. obviously it's it's not going to get you it's a useless lot. it's useless it's where you're trying to capture people that are doing something and get that picture mm -hmm. um where it definitely comes in so handy um to your point where it doesn't show you on our phones, the ones that are live photos, but if you send it in a text message, they get the little bullseye. I think I saw it. Coffee cup. Yeah, that was just a picture <laughs> I, I saved. Um, I, I think I've noticed it um, um, importing the photos, and I actually haven't checked my photo library and since I updated to oh, Capitan. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have to. I have to every time. Um, I did play it when I was loading on my laptop, by the way. So, Or even, I think I remoted and started the update process um, uh, from someplace I was working and 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 was playing it. It was myself. interesting to see across the devices I have and how old they are. Because, I mean, I have that 2011 MacBook Air. I have a 2007 iMac here that I think is upgradable to it. So, I, on, on, like, that device, it took, like, an hour. Okay. On my, on, on the new MacBook Pro, yeah. it took, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes? It's still it was so fast. It took me, like, a half an hour on even the this uh, 20... 13 late 2013 i guess now that's not to me that's not including download uh, it was, so like the installation said a half an hour on yeah, the installation yeah it blew it blew through it was it was very very nice i'm very jealous of you first pizza. we watched katie with her vr now we watch katie eat pizza hello all right we have some fan <laughs> submissions here we have to get going have with this. Cat and just watch me do things <laughs> yeah you know VR. why not why not and then watch it in virtual reality mm -hmm. chill is no chachi damn it i'm sorry that's chachi uh, chachi not chilla i'm that's the name i'm used to seeing in here um geez we haven't even gotten to the microsoft stuff guys Thank we're running late tonight sorry for you guys on the live stream uh so you can now buy mattel's awesomely affordable google powered vr headset and yes it's modeled after the viewmaster Ooh. We talked about this when it was announced a few months ago, and it is for real. And and man, I figured out Chachi's uh, Christmas gift uh, early. It's only thirty dollars. Wow. You know, we're talking about like for like twenty bucks, you can get the cardboard one or make it. Mm -hmm. it or let's just let's just spend thirty bucks just and get spend this. Spend thirty thing. bucks. You know, seriously, so, I'm, I'm sure it's, get this it's so worth it. Yeah. Oh, completely. I mean, it's not going to be as completely awesome, probably as the the VR thing that you have set up, Missy. You should try this while you're down here. <laughs> Um, it, cool. uh, sit down and we'll, we'll, we'll set you up after the podcast. We Stick just around. in the backyard. <laughs> just wander around the backyard with this thing on her face. Uh, why, why, why does she look like she has a head crab out there? What's, <laughs> what's that about? Um, anyways, 
Half-Life fans. Um, and uh, but but yeah, so that's out there. Check it out. Um, they I, I'm curious what the implementation is with these because they have like the discs like they used to have, right? And I missed what. Is there an app that goes along with it? There's certainly an app that goes with it. I think that's that's the the, the big part of it. Uh, Fifteen dollar experience packs in the form of ViewMaster discs. You download the proper app and then scan the NFC enabled experience pack with your phone. So just the thing with an NFC in it. As long as your phone supports NFC. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Or is the NFC in the in the headset? Mm-hmm. There's some eating. There's munching on the on the show right now. So sorry. <laughs> Slice Crunch. on Broadway. <laughs> so that happens when the pizza comes late. <laughs> um, not on them. No, we pick it up. It's it's not it's not a, it's not a thing. Um, but anyways, no, that, that's completely awesome. Completely something people can get into VR. Like I, I don't know. That's low a, cost. So that's a dev kit you got. How? A, so the dev kit. The dev kit's one hundred ninety nine. Right. The, the consumer model is going to be 99. Right. So it's it, 100 bucks. I mean, was it easy for you to get a dev kit? Can you just order a dev right kit? Right off of Amazon.com. Right off of Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it was prime. But it's accessible. Even that 200 bucks is like, that's pretty good. It, and it was prime shipped. I mean, it was legit. It was direct from Samsung. Right. Right. They're, 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 and I, I think that, like, like I said, I think the whole point of the dev kit is not how we think of like Apple shipping out the Apple TV dev kits where right, it was. Right limited select people Mm -hmm. i think the whole thing is reference hardware for developers to start thinking about how they're going to build applications for it we're also at a different spot too where i think people are ready for this kind of thing it's also not as uh extra of a concept as google glass was that we're like what do we do with this thing that's because we've been expecting virtual reality for since back to the future too yeah i was gonna say how many 20 years now (laughs) let's be honest about that Mm -hmm. okay uh, and also, uh, Carla Swank actually tagged us in this post, um, about what Moo cards are doing. Uh, they I remember Moo cards. You remember Moo cards? Everybody's got their free pack of Moo cards from Clout, right? Uh, but <laughs> they're actually, uh, tap into the future. Business Cards Plus with UFC technology. So they have an NFC chip in the business card that they printed, and you tap it. And here's the interesting thing so you actually get to decide. What that NFC chip is going to do. Um, so you you can build the digital business card. It can be a website, connect to your networks, promote your app, share a playlist on Spotify, network, connect to your LinkedIn. So you set what that is, which is <laughs> basically just a web address is being embedded in, in there and it spits out that, that, that thing. But again, you know, it's does my phone support NFC, right? But still, it's, that's a pretty interesting uh, kind of, uh, 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 push forward for this. Um, I don't know what you think, Jello. Um, you're, you're you're the you're the biggest NFC guy here. I want you want. <laughs> well, but so I how, want all the cards. How many <laughs> NFC? Oh, okay, so but but okay, you're at a thing and say okay here and 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 what are the chances that the person has an NFC phone? Are they Android or Windows? Because it's the good, good chance. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, I see you have an Android phone there. I see you have the Nexus so so and so. Here, take my special card, right? Because oh, wow. you, you don't want to hand these. You don't want to. You don't want to hand your NFC cards to somebody with a flip phone. Let's be honest here. After you spent that money on the thing, well, and, right? and let's let's face it. If you're if you're buying these, I don't think your target demographic for who you hand out your uh, business cards to is someone. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a little bit. It depends. It depends. I, I think there is the. I want to impress the people in this way here. I want to impress the geeky people over here with but this. I, I think that to your point though, I think okay. So if you're going to demo day. Mm-hmm. what deck of cards are you picking up no no i don't think you even just take a deck of cards which that sounds weird too i think <laughs> it's just like the good cards are in this pocket the other cards are in this pocket and hopefully i've seen what phone they got first well i, I know people that that's i think we talked about on the show that's how certain people when they interact with someone meeting them for the first time what pocket they put your business card yeah, in that was the thing wasn't that the indiegogo guy that was talking yeah. about that katie yeah. so it was just like if, if it's in the front pocket you'll be hearing from me yeah you know? if it's in the back pocket if it's in the shirt pocket you'll really be hearing from me mm-hmm. if it's in the front pocket you I'm, might be hearing from me and if it's in the back pocket it's nice probably going in the trash later yeah later <laughs> um so so I, I, I my cards are random <laughs> <laughs> so i think i think to the point of Here's what here's where I like it. If you wanted to so you can do a website link, right? Maybe you don't want them 
maybe you want to promote something that's deeper in your website mm -hmm. as a kind of first place to go. Mm -hmm. And then they can hit the home button from there, right? So you can deep link without having to have someone type in this really I, long. I feel like I feel like like the, the ideas I'm thinking about, like all the ideas I'm thinking about end with me basically having a bandolier of different business cards uh, based on the different people I mean. <laughs> oh, I mean, you need help with your Twitter account? Here, go to this video, <laughs> you know? But that's all, but it is something you could do. But and maybe, now, now here, wait, so so here. So now you take your business card and you write a blog post that's a, that's a directory of all of your how-to videos, right? Uh -huh. And then that's the website. What link. you need to do is is you click the thing. It's like, oh, thanks for thanks for tapping my business card because like yeah. Brogan, I really love that. Like Brogan's like, hey, uh, everybody, go to uh, it was probably like chrisbrogan.com slash uh, podcamp, right? And it was like, hey, podcampers, thanks for checking my thing after listening to my talk, you know. And then it goes into whatever his pitch or whatever the deal is to make you sign up for his newsletter or whatever. I mean, that's. It makes sense, mm -hmm. you know. I it absolutely makes sense, and you're and it's your directoring, and the other person's like, "Wow, this like is really kind of personalized here," you know. Um, I got the batch of cars that I went to this event. It's like, "Oh, cool! It looks like you met me at Alpha Lab." Da 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 da, you know. And maybe like you put in like all of our talks with Alpha Lab people, you know. Like like I'm creating a business plan around this damn card I don't even have. And maybe maybe you do it where you give. Wouldn't it be interesting? Here's my business card. And for the technology people that you know have NFC, it's completely blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hand them a blank business card. That's you awesome. know they're going to tap it. That is awesome. You know they're going to tap it. Maybe it don't, don't make it blank. All that's on it is the little NFC logo. That's it. That's it. That is it. <laughs> you know like, you know whatever you want them to see they're gonna see the it the thing they find or it's like what is this like if you want NFC? if you want to bring up hits to your website or you want to push people to promote like i'm going through their thing here if you want to push people to promote your app or 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 whatever i mean it's, hand them the blank business card with the nfc logo on it i guarantee you it's people out of out of just wondering it's like they say they say if you want to infect a company with a virus, <laughs> take a USB drive, jump like a thumb drive. Yeah. And write. Um, Play me. <laughs> no, no. Write um, HR pay, HR salary info on on it, on a, on a sticker and leave it in the bathroom. Somebody's plugging that. Someone's thing. Someone's plugging that into a computer. Someone's going to see that and they're going to plug it into a Tap computer. this card to make a million dollars. <laughs> right. I mean, you're going to get people you're going to get people like, oh, what's this? So I, I, I think this is I want I want all the cards. That's amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, and then I uh, want to touch base. Uh, hey, you know, we do more than just fun podcasts here. We're doing a lot of video stuff. We're doing a lot of fun videos here uh lately uh with clients helping them tell their story or podcasting all kinds of things uh over at sorgatron media uh, and, uh, services uh, it, we, we've worked with some great people in the past uh, uh pittsburgh foundation direct energy slice on broadway munching in the background uh <laughs> he's being so careful <laughs> as he's eating it i just hear a slower crunch <laughs> <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun and uh and we're helping people get their message out as well please check out sorgatronmedia.com hit up our contact page hit up our youtube page sorgatron media over there for samples of stuff that we've done with some great people like this video if you're on our video version of this we did with uh, aiga pittsburgh for their pgh 365 a couple years ago a lot of fun working with them and making real real cool and fun videos uh, with that and with that hey we do again a lot of all our podcasts here on sorgatron media network let's take a look at them in last week on sorgatron media are you familiar with craigslist i did know an individual by the name of craigslist but uh he did it's an online classifies you know the classifies from the newspaper oh i sleep on the newspapers all the time i know just what you're talking about is, uh hey guys a happy international podcast day Bye. High five for International who, who Podcast Day. Sprained wrist. Who, who, who made it International Podcast Day? Because yesterday was International Coffee Day. Don't and it was like International Something Else <laughs> Consumable Day, I thought, too. Yeah, didn't Justin Kanaki list a bunch of days and he left out Podcast Day, right? Have you force-touched your keyboard? Yes. Force-touching the <laughs> keyboard is the greatest. The reason you touch your keyboard when you're in a text input field. Ta-da, you have a mouse. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I had the running joke forever. I mean, when I managed Sterling James Keenan as a heel, 
uh, against Claudio Castagnoli a couple times. And one time we did the, uh, the Rick Rude Warrior finish in WrestleMania 5. Uh, you know, if Corey Graves ever needs help beating Cesaro, he knows where to call. Bobby is missing! If you have any information, please contact Captain Planet. Someone wanted Street Fighter 4 to include Floyd Money Mayweather and Ronda Rousey. I, I mean, it looks like a, a Street Fighter version of both characters. And I would play as Ronda Rousey all day. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have a friend who is tired and he's burnt out on wrestling, but he doesn't want to give it up. He doesn't want to stop watching wrestling. He wants to get back in. He wants something to hook him, to grab him by the throat like things used to. He's an old man who just wants to love wrestling again. How would you make that old man love wrestling again? All right, check out all that, SorgatronMedia.com, a lot of great fun shows and uh, and and all kinds of stuff. So Microsoft did a thing today. <laughs> so, they, and they, they did a lot. Holy crap, they did a lot. I forgot about it, and I got all the, like, it started coming across my Facebook, the guy playing the robot video game, and I'm like, oh, crap, I missed an event today. And I missed the first 39 minutes, and I was like, what? I, I watched <laughs> the 20 minutes about the Surface Pro 4, and then I only found like a minute clip about, this, about the uh, new stuff with the uh, HoloLens. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, I guess this works. Uh, so the Surface is damn impressive. It's like the battle of the tablets and keyboard combos right now. What are the highlights of the Surface Pro? Um, Surface Pro 4 um, is a... So it's the same size um, as the Surface Pro 3, which I think is impressive. So all of your existing peripherals, all your existing docks, everything is going to work. Um, they did come out with nice. a, new, a newer dock, mm-hmm. um, and that newer dock actually does, I think, dual 4k screens a couple usb 3 ports and it's actually the new dock is backwards compatible with the surface pro 3 which i thought was pretty impressive um new intel chipset obviously um what else was big they are putting a fingerprint scanner in the new keyboard um the new pen that comes with the or i think it's probably an additional purchase but that comes with the pro 4 um has a hundred or a thousand twenty four levels of pressure Mm -hmm. um so it's it's more pressure sensitive um and i think that device goes up to 16 gig of memory and i can't remember what this terabyte terabyte Yeah. yeah okay this is the part where the guy was like uh, he turned into freaking Oprah at this point of the of the uh, presentation. He's like, he's like, he's like, you want a fingerprinter? We got that in there for you. You want a terabyte? It? You want a terabyte of, of, of space? We got that too. We got. You want this thing? We got that too. Like he got into huge showman. He was very excited about this thing. Uh, you know, all you know, you know, definitely. I'm sure this is the thing. He's on the service team. Like this is his baby to say. This is freaking how we want to do computers. And they're they're and 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 they're saying. And I think rightfully so. We got something that competes with the iPad for and, the and thing for you to carry around. Forty forty percent larger trackpad with five point multi touch. I feel like this whole thing was, hey Apple, we can do it too. Mm-hmm. Not not only not only can we generate like a device that we can also come up with interesting names and titles for stuff. It's not Retina. It's Pixel Sense. So the surprise Pixel Sense <laughs> branding. Uh, so the the and and I think. Okay, we got a pen, a new pen. It's awesome, cool, and it's and it is impressive. The stuff they're showing was very, very impressive. Uh, and and I think a couple notes I had in here in the in the notes was one, we're we're getting back to writing with movements mm-hmm. like the Apple Pencil and the and the and the pen. Uh, funny part is we have to pay a lot to be able to write again mm-hmm. <laughs> or draw or whatever the case may be. Uh, but also, um, Microsoft made their own chip. There's 200 components that are in that device that are unique to Microsoft. That's so Microsoft. When did Microsoft become Intel? Or did they just buy an Intel in China? I'm and, guessing it was through some acquisitions along the way. Mm-hmm. Maybe Nokia or something. But there was something on it was on in Gadget, I think, where they were talking about there's 200 components in this device that are 
that were created by Microsoft. That that's a that's a huge signal to me. Mm-hmm. That's a Intel, AMD, we don't need you. I don't think it's just a we don't need you. I think it's a I think it's a Dell HP wake up and we can build it better. Yeah. And you guys aren't you, you got, guys aren't doing your job. You guys were supposed to be the experts here mm-hmm. and look what we did and we're just a software company. <laughs> there <laughs> but, are devices but, but there are devices, there are devices and services, services. and they, I think this is holy crap are their devices getting good and yes i think they are i think they are completely competitive to apple devices um it, when, if, if anybody's looking for computers it's like i think it's easy to say uh do you want a samsung or do you want to or i'm sorry do you want a surface or you want a mac don't even look at the rest of the trash on the best buys floor the interesting thing that that i'd, I'd like to know and if you if you notice the way he holds the tablet a lot mm-hmm. and the way he holds his hand when he's writing on it. I'm interested in palm rejection. He was seemed very careful, didn't he? He seems like he's being very careful, and that's yeah, the yeah. one thing I would like to see more about. He's, he's got a fingertip on the edge yeah. and and everything. He's trying so hard not to touch that. Versus, if you had palm reduction, re, re, redu- rejection, reject, reduction, I'm sorry. reduction, you're you're grabbing the thing like this. You're not going to care if you're drawn because it's gonna it's gonna see that and it's going to just just not even consider the rest of the stuff. I don't even like the iPad without a pen. I don't even hold as as gingerly as this guy was holding. Maybe that's just his style. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but but then certainly um, no, it, it looks amazing. Uh, the band, I didn't catch much with the band. Highly upgraded, highly upgraded. They got a lot more partners. Um, the, the the new band's more curved. It has a newer class, which I've seen Ooh, people that actually curvy. wear this daily. Um, that their clasp is kind of starting to fall apart. Um, Gorilla Glass has GPS, UV monitoring, sleep tracking, calorie tracking. Um, it can measure your golf swing now. That's in one of the new things that can do. Well, I'm buying it. The the big thing I saw out of today's today's announcement was the number of partnerships that this has gathered. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. People what? have taken note of this device and are jumping on board. Um, and to me, this takes people to jump on board because it's not running. It's not running Windows 10 unless I missed part of that announcement today. Um, so it's not running the same core, common core that a lot of the other, that the, the phone, the tablet, Xbox, et cetera, is running. It runs, it, you have to code a little differently for this. Mm-hmm. Um, so based on the fact that they have more partners, I think that's huge news. So stay tuned because obviously someone's, everyone's taking an interest in this. So and it's an option. I, they're they're, good, they're They're definitely hitting com- competitive options with this. And of course, the Hololens. Anything new important out of the Hololens? Um, three thousand dollar dev device dev As kit due out, I think, in twenty sixteen. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it costs for you in the home. Obviously, it's not going to cost three thousand, but I think it's going to be five hundred. I think it's going to be five hundred. I think it's, I, I think it, it competitively, it's going to be five hundred. I think it's going it to be hard. Has to be. Um, or do we just put it out as a thousand and it's the, yeah, really important people have this and that's it. To me, the big news of the day was the phone. Yeah. So what happened with the phone? So they released the, uh, 950 and 950 XL, okay. um, both Lumia branded devices. Um, five, the, the 950 is a 5.2 inch screen, the 950 XL is a 5.7 inch screen um, running Windows 10. And if you remember the big thing about Windows 10 on the mobile device is that it counterparts Windows 10 on a desktop or laptop. So I think they called the code name for the dock was Munchkin. You plug this device in over USB-C. Remember USB-C gets you like 10 times the throughput of USB 3.0. Mm-hmm. Um, you get full you get a full windows machine running off your phone this is the dockable phone mm-hmm. realized you get the start button you get powerpoint running like powerpoint runs on your desktop um you get a lot a, a ton of nice features um are you going to be editing video you're gonna be playing lego legends on this thing probably not maybe maybe you could play lego legends <gasps> lego lego dimensions lego dimensions you oh, might that'd be you cool. play, I, I think the lego games and some of those types of games mm-hmm. 
that are not huge processor. I mean, you can play you can play a lot of the Lego games on a on an iPad. Right, right. They're on, not they're, there's a, there's not much there's not much to on them. an older iPad or lower lower end computers. They, mm-hmm. they they're completely runnable. So yeah, um, so th- that's awesome. Uh, so Microsoft, it, it seems like Microsoft does Microsoft do these like once a quarter every six months. What when what, what, when's ha- when's these happening? It seems like they're at least twice a year right now. And it, but I think what what kind of gets thrown in that gen- helps generate news is you may get twice a year big consumer type pushes but then right. obviously you get the enterprise where they get new versions of office which will kind of obviously affect the consumer as well so everybody I, gets I excited say, about office these days i tell you what i would say there's you're probably with the dev conferences and all the different stuff you're probably seeing like four four announcements per year none mm-hmm. not all of them are are like today's where they're targeted at the consumer i mean how many of the consumer people that were interested in the phone listened in on the e3 conference where they announced all their video games type stuff right right so they're they're, they're so spread out mm-hmm. that it, it kind of makes sense so awesome well i have a lot more i would have loved to get to today but holy crap sorry i ruined facebook it you can check out my gif photo on facebook did you guys do your gif photos your I video photo on facebook yet have fun with that katie i can't wait to see okay katie, just do one with you eating pizza and <laughs> just I have my pizza queen in the other one. I don't want to. I can't top that. You can't. You can't cross your your pizza ness. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Tesla's got a new Model X uh, uh, SUV. So your your electric SUV is going to be around thirty five thousand. So it's going to be very affordable in comparison to what they've had to before. Uh, and uh, da, 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 and that's El Capitan. We have it on our computers, and I love Split View. It's snappy. It's or snap view or whatever the hell. No, it is. I mean, I, I thought I thought that the thing. I think it's snappy. Like it's, it's faster. It's really, I think so. Oh, oh, you did. The, the laptop's faster. Yes. I got, I got a weird thing where I upload uh, Facebook videos and it like locks up my computer. How does that even happen? Huh. But anyways, that's a, that's that's a story for the other day. Hey, check out our friends looking for Group Pittsburgh. They're uh, LFP. I'm sorry, lfgpgh.com. They're on Facebook. We uh, just uh, recorded an interview before we did this show uh, with them. That'll be out this Thursday at awesomecast.net. A really cool uh, a place for you to go play video games. They got Xboxes. They got LAN parties. This is the wrong window. Hi, everybody. That's just the everybody window. Uh, <laughs> but no, they got a lot of cool stuff there. Um, they, they, they have... Uh, these game jams happening and they're helping kids like build their own retro arcades on raspberry Pis, and they're actually going to be doing that for free for some kids because of their kickstarter which is still going on they have 15 days left i think they're hitting their stretch goals at this point uh to help just put more stuff into the space again you can go play video games for uh hours to do land parties they got everything there for you and it's a co-working space so if uh, you need a place to work and that happens to have a few video games lying around, it's a really cool place uh, for you. We're going to be checking it out. We had a great conversation with them. Uh, other than that, stuff coming up. Um, I think that was about it. This is stuff from last week I'm looking at. I thought I updated this. Marshmallow launched Marshmallow. on Nexus devices. Marshmallow. Yes, I haven't seen it yet. I checked it this morning. I did not get my marshmallow yet. Yeah. So I feel like I barely used the last one. So I don't know. Anything else coming up, Katie, our our star of Brazilian TV? Yes, I'm currently famous Brazilian in Brazil. TV. Yeah, I'm, I'm Brazilian TV is a clown. It's amazing. <laughs> that thing. Had, I don't even know how many. It was up for ten minutes and had four thousand views. Wow. I, I didn't look at it today, but it's insane. Where and can I, people find the video? Yeah, where can people find this? On <laughs> Facebook. Uh, it's called the show is called Panico, and uh, they're actually a, a Facebook. There was a fifteen minute is a fifteen minute segment that was posted, and and yours was like the middle segment. Um, it looked like sandwiched between um, a lot of Brazilian stuff I didn't understand, including ass shots, yes. and uh, and cat circus. Yes, the cat circus was in town. That's why they came, and then they decided they wanted to go to a haunted house. And there you go. And it looks like the the, the girl is going to lose her mind. And Katie, look for the law the the large the, the tall clown. Yeah, it's a it, it's a very interesting Brazilian TV, and then. Let's see. I think it might be easier to find on my page. But anyway, so now I'm famous in Brazil, so you probably want my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, at Kate Dutters on the Twitters. Yes, uh, at Kate Dutters, uh, at Kate Marie PGH. I've gotten a lot of new followers um, lately on Instagram. Oddly from Brazil. Yes. <laughs> a lot of them do not speak. <laughs> Which is strange. So so I know on Periscope, I usually get people from Brazil saying, hi, I'm in Brazil. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can just be here. <laughs> she was so upset, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually get people from Brazil. So now the people are going to come on Brazil as usual, and they're going to recognize you. Yes, I know. I'm like, this is amazing. Now I want to go on my VR and go to Brazil. Oh, yeah. Well, you want to do a VR walkthrough scare house? We need to do that. That'll be our next thing. There you go. Chilla's at Twi- Chilla on the Twitters. The, when I'm when I'm out in real life. In the real life? In the real life. In the real life. When I'm not stuck in my VR. Go ask him about <laughs> VR and how that's working for him. And how many times he's banged his head off of the... the headbutting the, the desk might be like a problem. <laughs> like, well, there goes my phone, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitters for me. SorgatronMedia.com, AwesomeCast.net. Thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us. You can join us live on AwesomeCast.net every Tuesday around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. We were rolling a little bit earlier lately. I'm getting some interviews booked. We're getting some people involved and uh, getting those rolling. We get, I get about two of them a month. Uh, you know, not really super regular yet, but we're working on that. Uh, technology people not as readily available as pro wrestlers I'm finding and also I don't have a co-host to help me out with the booking so maybe we'll have to change that at some point what? Sorry. what? you're motioning I don't know first you tested me with pizza and now you're just going back um, anyways thank you everybody for joining us subscribing to uh, subscribe to us uh, on your Twitter's iTunes everything even if you don't even use iTunes just, just go hit the subscribe button it helps trust me leave a comment um, we have 269 episodes and nobody has ever left a comment on our iTunes, but I know you're listening out there. I've seen the numbers, please. Somebody, um, I will give something special to the first, uh, uh review I see on there, uh, and hit me up on the Twitters as well. Uh, what can you forward to Jimmy DeMarco? No, that's a different show. Thank you so much to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.